This October 15th, we all have the pleasure, I might emphasize, of watching Emmanuel Navarrete do his thing. The WBO featherweight champion of the world is still a little bit underrated, I feel, by not just the casual audience, but people who follow their boxing. They look at him and say, he looks slow, uh, he looks sloppy, he's going to trip up at some point when he fights somebody good. Failing to recognize that this guy is damn good. He is damn effective at what he does with such an original, awkward style. He beats people so casually as if fighting itself requires the same attention levels of just sitting there with a cup of tea. He seems so relaxed in the ring as he just helplessly thumps his opponents about. He is good. He is possible pound for pound material. And that means Joet Gonzalez is in trouble. Now, numbers-wise, Gonzalez does only have one loss, so his record doesn't look too bad challenging for the title. Though he was dominated by Shakur Stevenson, who, while, yes, he does have a very different style to Navarrete, I see them pretty similar in terms of quality. So I don't think this is going to be much easier. For Navarrete, his main problem is a lack of big fights. He had his breakthrough win late 2018 against Britain's Isaac Dogbo, repeated it in the rematch in 2019, but come early next year, really, it will have been about three years without a really meaningful fight. He was one of the few guys to remain active during the pandemic, which was great, but we need a top guy now for somebody to test that considerable talent of his. Who is there at featherweight? Josh Warrington, Maurizio Lara, uh, Kid Galahad. I can't see any of those much smaller guys uh, be willing to jump in there with Navarrete. Not the fact because he's not even a big name, is he? So you'd be getting punched around the ring for not much money. Even when he does make that inevitable step up to 130, he's about the same height as Shakur Stevenson and yet he's wider than him. He's got longer arms. He's got the same reach as Floyd Mayweather, who pretty much always had his opponents for reach. Think about that. Those long levers that just awkwardly bash you up. Judging by his last performance, I doubt Oscar Valdez would be eager to jump into the ring with Navarrete. But that is the kind of fight that would be necessary to put Vaquero over with the casual audience. Mexico versus Mexico, what's not to like? The styles would probably gel and it would be exciting while it lasts. It's insane to think that Navarrete was actually at super bantamweight not long ago. When we all saw him for the first time, the thought that probably simultaneously popped into our heads is... Where can this guy go in terms of weight with that huge frame? 135 would not be out of the question, and he still wouldn't be a small guy if he jumped up there. Though with the kind of talent that's at lightweight, and with the larger frames, with the likes of Orion Garcia, he would lose those natural advantages which he currently enjoys. First things first though, Navarrete has to deal with Joet Gonzalez. A guy who he knows, typical Mexican, is going to bring it until there's nothing left. But Joet is going to discover a different kind of problem than the one he came up against Shakur Stevenson. The problems are going to be a case of finding it difficult to pin you down or to close the gap. It's going to be a guy that will happily oblige in slugging you and can do it so much better. The deceptively heavy hands of Navarrete, the hard-to-read boxing of his that looks loose, that looks careless, and before you know it, he's just thrown a lead left uppercut, it's not in the textbook, and it's got you on the floor like it did to Ruben Villa. This is the kind of stuff he can pull. This is how comfortable he is in the ring. Whatever kind of fight Gonzalez wants to bring, Navarrete will match and best it. If he wants to get knocked out, he will press him relentlessly. If he tries to be cute and counter, he will just get awkwardly picked off from long range. Whatever he brings, I can't see him winning. <laughs>